Well, I got the news they're waiting for, Siebert. Where is he? You win. The decision has been made to go into Paris. And the three of us hold the responsibility for that decision. I, because I'm giving the order. You, General Leclerc, because you are going to execute it. And you, Major Galois, because you brought us the information that led us to that decision. Thank you. How do you feel, Major? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> I haven't slept in three days. I promise you a full day's sleep. But right now I'm sending you down to G2. And tomorrow you can join General Leclerc at Rambouillet. Rebius? We're moving on to Paris. That's your son, Lieutenant. He was two then. And now he's four years old. I've never seen him. Off your behinds! We are marching on to Paris! <laughs> I'd better shave off my beard before my wife sees it. This is it! I'm going to Paris!
Where's Leclerc now? They're moving, they're going all out, but they're still more than 50 kilometers away. Hmm. It's about 30 miles. You know, we can't run the risk that German general might just suddenly change his mind and destroy the city. So Leclerc has quite a job on his hands. Tell Hodges to keep the 4th Division ready just in case. Look, the Eiffel Tower, that's on, it's on the, the right side of the river, right? Right bank? The left. Well, okay. If the Eiffel Tower is on the left, <clears throat> that means that the Louvre is on the right, yeah, and the chamber of, a, what do you call it, of a deputies. Now, look, will you just knock it off and quit bothering me? Yeah, but you've been to Paris, and I haven't. Boy, I never thought in a thousand years I'd get to see Paris. Yeah. See Paris and die. No, that's, that's Naples. What do you think happens when you die? You go to Naples. <laughs> Funny. Start unloading those bazookas there, Sergeant. We going into Paris, Lieutenant? Yeah, we're moving out. Bye, madam. 